Welcome to AP Physics with Mr. Brazil. Today I will be teaching about tension, meaning an object is hanging, and there's a cord, and some object is uh, putting some sort of tension, or hey, tension is a force. So let's get started. Um, tension is a force, and I will be using the symbol T for tension. So tension and force are the same thing. And what do I mean? Well, let's say we have a ceiling here. A ceiling. And let's put a cord and some object hanging from that cord, about the center of mass of that particular object. This particular uh, cord will have a force due to the, some gra gravitational force pulling down on this box. We'll call it FG. And, um, Let's make this a 10 kilogram mass, pulling down, and the, uh, the cord is not stretching, it just has a tension in it, and because it's on a ceiling, this whole system is not moving, okay? The whole system itself, these forces, the force of gravity and tension, okay, these subforces, are not in motion, so the total net force on this object will have an acceleration of equal to zero. Okay? So, here's how we set this up. Since this is in the y direction, my sum of forces, for some teachers they use net force, is equal to the tension minus the force of gravity of the, of the object. And in this case, it's equal to zero since it's not in motion. It's just static. Tension, therefore, will be equal to Fg. So 10.0 kilograms times 9.80 meters per second squared. And that will give us 98.0 newtons. So the tension in this cord for this particular setup is 98.0 newtons. Well, let's say there's an object hanging below this box. So let's change the system up a little bit. So let's get rid of this outer system because that actually changes considerably. And we're going to add a box. Or I'm not going to say a box, but another object hanging below. Some mass and let's hang it from the center of mass of the other one. And I'm going to make this 5.00 kilograms. And now this will be tension one, and I'm gonna call that one tension two. Now, it is a similar setup, but I'm gonna work from the bottom up. And then we will get tension two, okay? Um, so let's erase this. And what I will be working with is the first subsystem below. Okay, and again, this mass, I'm going to call it M5 for 5 kilograms, will be accelerating. Again, there's no acceleration, zero. But there's a tension force upward and a force of gravity downward, Fg, and I'm going to call it Fg5. Okay, so let's solve for the first tension, or the first cord. So that'll be T1 minus Fg sub 5 equals 0, because it's not accelerating. So T1 will equal 5.00 kilograms times 9.80 meters per second squared, and that will give us... 5 times 9.8, 49.0 newtons. Okay, well, that should have been half of the 98. Sure enough, we're there. Okay, now let's find the second tension. That will be the next subsystem, or the overall system. So this is going to entail everything. So we're going to have tension one, but tension one, if we were to take all the subforces, it's going to have an upward, downward, it zeroes itself out. So this tension two 
is pulling upward and it's maintaining a force due to this uh, block and the bottom block. So we're going to have FG 10 and we're going to have FG 5. And the setup for this will be the sum of F, Y, and I should label this one 1 and and we'll label this one uh, that forces uh, the sum of F, Y, and 2. This will be equal to tension 2. Tension 1 zeroes itself out. So we're going to have Fg sub 10 minus Fg sub 5. And actually, what I should have stated before we started this math, this system has a total mass. It's the mass of 10 plus uh, 5 times A. And again, in this case, A is 0 because it's not moving. So 0. So tension 2 is going to be equal to Fg sub 10 minus Fg sub 5 minus plus, excuse me, because mo the minus is going to the other side. So this will equal to 10 kilograms plus 5.00 kilograms. Let's put another sig fig here. Time 9.80 meters per second squared. Okay, so 10 plus 5 to get our 15. times 9.8, 147 equals 147 newtons. Now we know the force on the second box. So let's change this up one more time. Let's add some more chords instead. So I'm going to erase all of this and we're going to add more chords and we'll see how this all turns out. So here's how this is going to look. I'm going to put a box here. Again, the center mass of this particular box is still here in the middle. And I'm actually going to put another box below. Okay. So Again, this will be 10.00 kilograms and 5.00 kilograms. There's a tension 1 here, but instead, center mass is here, so I'm going to put these at equal distance from the center of mass. So I have a chord up here. These are both similar chords. Um, so this will be tension 2, tension 2, and tension 1. So it's similar chords up top, similar length. Uh, similar material, I'm going to say near, ma nearly massless cores, okay, and that was for the uh, first two examples. So let's find T2. What is the tension on each chord of T2 and T1? Well, let's start much the same as we did before. We already know that F sub 1 is equal to T1 minus G sub okay equals zero because the system again is attached to the wall uh, ceiling excuse me and it's not moving so T1 equals 5.00 kilograms times 9.80 meters per second squared and we have established that that was equal to um, now that I forgot 9.8 uh, 49 newtons Okay, so nothing's changed. So because we added two chords, the tension doesn't change here. Now we go back and let's make this the total system. Again, mass total times acceleration. We are fortunate that this is not moving, so therefore it's zero. And since these are equidistant, are now our sum of forces in the y 
for the tension 2 is going to be equal to T2 plus T2 minus FG10 minus FG5 equals 0. Okay? So 2T2 equals FG10 plus, plus FG5. Okay? And tension 2 now is equal to FG10 plus FG5 over 2. Plug in our values. So we're going to have our 15 kilograms, 15.0. So let's put correct sig figs. Kilograms times 9.80 meters per second squared. Remember, this is the total mass. That's where I got the 15. And we're going to divide by 2. So let's get that done for you. And this will give us 73.2 newtons for T2. So now we know the tension for these two cords on each one. So there's 73.2 newtons, 73.2 newtons, and the cord below has 49. And this is reasonable. Okay? So below, this is going to be a series of three um, videos. So this is part one. Part two and three are linked below. And um, check them out so you get a, the next sequence. I will have everything going in motion. And then the final uh, video will be component vectors. All right? Enjoy and continue with physics.